Hi, Wendy here again. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the paper and overlay and lace and add a shadow in Craft Artist 2 using the products from Divine Christmas DVD. Okay, I've got Craft Artist 2 open in an A4 portrait document. I've already inserted the overlay because they are quite a heavy file and they do take a few seconds to get into craft artists and craft artists might not respond for a couple of seconds but don't touch anything if that happens just wait okay so I'm going to go to insert photo from file and I'm going to get a paper a plain paper and pop that in I think I'll uh, make it a bit bigger so it's easier to see and while I'm at it, I'm just going to make the overlay a bit bigger as well. The overlay's gone to the back, so I need to uh, bring to front. So I'm just going to roughly get it the same size. Just don't have to be spot on at this moment because we will be cropping it later. Okay, next we're going to go and get some lace. So insert photo from file, locate the lace folder, and we'll use this one and pop that in and get it to fit not perfect you don't need to do it perfect right now so I'm just uh, dragging it in and out to get it roughly the same size that will do while it's still highlighted go to the shadow tool and I'm just going to drag out a little bit for a shadow it always seems to default to a black shadow which I think is too harsh so I'm going to go to format filter effects and this black here represents the shadow so click on that color and I'm just going to choose a brown get a much softer effect next I'm going to go to insert photo from file again and I'm going to go to the toppers and I'm going to choose one of the toppers pop that in resize it and turn it and send it back one so it's behind the lace while it's still highlighted put a shadow on that also and I think I'll make it a little bit bigger as well and I'm going to change that shadow color from black to brown okay that looks good so I'm going to um, group these together okay and then I'm going to get the overlay and I'm going to pop it over and that looks pretty now I'm going to group the whole lot together and now I'm going to crop when you put a shadow on something that shadow extends past wherever you've put it on so uh, if it's at the top or a bottom or a side edge that shadow will will go over the edge that's why I said we wouldn't bother cropping until the end okay so let's zoom in a little bit and there we go and uh, there's a pretty uh, quick card topper if you wanted it maybe just decorate it with some die cut poinsettias here or something I hope you found this useful and I'll see you again soon bye